Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited for this video because I am copying the dialet. I am copying the dialet. Diet. The diet of Kendall Jenner. She's queen. She is a skinny legend. She's the highest paid model, which you know what? She's very beautiful and very good at modeling, but I feel like that's a controversial topic with her being the most paid. But regardless, she's very fit. I feel like she's CEO of Pilates and like yoga. She's also a Victoria's Secret model, which means that she works out around five to six days a week. So she actually has her own workout, which is super awesome because I feel like a lot of these models just say they do an ab workout and a butt exercise, but they don't actually have the workout but she has her work up up on the internet. I think it's called her 11 minute ab. So we're definitely gonna be doing that. And then she also does cardio or any HIIT workout or weight lifting. She does a minimum of nine reps and they all have to be light weight. So enough that you can do nine. So anything where you can't do more than nine, it's too heavy for you. I'm so sad that none of my friends are coming with me because I didn't plan on it yesterday or like planning them to come. So no one is on their phone right now. It's so early and everyone's sleeping and now I'm gonna be by myself at the gym. And you know what? That wouldn't be a problem normally, but when I have to film, I have secondhand embarrassment for myself because I don't really wanna have my phone like standing up and me like recording me doing crunches because I just feel embarrassed. But we're gonna push through it because YouTube life, so freezing. Do you guys want to know something sad? I live in BC, Canada, and you would think, you would think. Actually, I hope you wouldn't think, but a lot of people are like, oh my god, igloos, Canada, it's freezing. It's actually not. It's like the same kind of weather, at least where I live, like Vancouver area, kind of the same as like Seattle weather, and it's like, you know what? It's pretty sunny weather, but it was just recorded the coldest June ever, I think, which is just depressing, and let me tell you, it's freezing. It's June, and it's 12 degrees. It's raining and it's cloudy and I'm cold. I'm here. The lighting is so bad, but I really lucked out and there's nobody in this room. So thank God I can do my workout in peace and use my camera. It shouldn't be too hard. It's only 11 minutes, I think so. myself a Starbucks ice water because I'm thirsty and I forgot my water bottle at home and I'm sure that Kendall Jenner drinks probably like the eight cups of water probably more than that but I try I really try but I need to try harder so should we chug this together Ugh, I'm joking I can't chug this it's freezing I wish I vlogged more at the gym but I literally can't I can't I can't handle getting stared at it's brutal but I did do this workout my friend Michaela made a fitness page you guys should go follow her and she had a little butt workout so I did that like the band and then I did some arm weights like free weights or whatever and then I went to the gym park and I did actual machines for my upper body whole day or whatever I'm interrupting this video real fast. This is the same day actually, it's been a few hours later, but I just got out of the shower and I need to put some deodorant on, obviously. We love smelling good, this is the cutest little packaging. Native, you know, it smells so good. So you may ask me, um, what is this brand called Native? Well, let me tell you, because this video is actually sponsored by Native, oh my god. But actually, thank you so much to Native for sponsoring this video. It's the cutest little packaging I think I've ever seen, and it's plastic free. I just push it from the bottom, it looks like a little push pop, and it also doesn't show up white on your armpit, so I think that's awesome and definitely something that I look for in a deodorant. Having your deodorant be plastic free is such an easy way to incorporate that sustainability in your lifestyle. Native's plastic free deodorant uses all the same ingredients as their regular deodorant with just a much more sustainable package. It's made from paperboard, and Native is also committed to sourcing from responsibly managed forests. They're also a proud member of 1% for the planet and they commit 1% of plastic free deodorant sales to environmental nonprofits. The texture is not sticky at all, it dries super quickly and it's great for all day, especially after exercise. As I said, they are paraben, aluminum, and sulfate free and they are also vegan and cruelty free and they use familiar and simple ingredients such as coconut oil and shea butter. Okay, I had to put my hair up but these are the three that I have. I have coconut vanilla, it smells so good, it smells like Hawaii, like why am I not there? Then I have eucalyptus mint. 
this one's so good. It smells so fresh. Kind of smells a little bit like manly, like a little foresty vibe. And the last one I have is Lavender Rose. It smells just like lavender. I love the smell of lavender. Perfect way to smell good for hot girl summer. So lastly, if you want to be matching with me and get three of these plastic-free deodorants that are normally $39, if you guys use my code FERNANDA in all capital letters, you guys can get them for $29, which is 25% off. But let's get back to making our breakfast. I'm debating here what cup I should use because I have this. I could make a yogurt bowl or I have this and I can make like layers of parfait. If you don't know what a parfait is, I feel like everyone does, but I think it's just like layered like yogurt and fruit, which I think this might be cool. I haven't done this before. If you watch my Instagram stories or you watch my videos and I feel like people are always saying like, how do you make your meals look so aesthetic? Literally, it's just about presentation. And if you take a minute longer to just like cut your strawberries cute, you can really make anything look delicious. For fruits, we have strawberries, blueberries, banana, and peaches. I didn't even know we had peaches, but my mom just bought these. And I also have Greek yogurt, which I think is really good for you. Probably shouldn't be on my bed with my gym stuff on, but look at this beauty. I feel like I kind of messed it up a little bit where you can't really see the fruit that much. And I don't know if I added too much granola, but let's give it a try. Mix it around a little bit. I don't know if I really like Greek yogurt. Like, I feel like I like it, but I don't know if I like regular flavored Greek yogurt. That hits the spot. I just got out of my shower and I just finished filming my sponsored part, which is why you saw me like this earlier. But now it is time for lunch. It's a little bit later now. It's like 1.30 and my mom's actually making it, I think. So I think I'm gonna go help her. Kendall did say that for lunch and most meals, she eats rice, protein, like chicken and a vegetable. So not really specific. Let's go see what kind of chicken and vegetable she's cooking up. I'm assuming the rice is brown and let's eat some lunch. never tried this chicken grill before. I used it on that little grill thing. Of course, I had to put a lot of spicy sauce on it. It is nearing the end of the day. It's like 6 p.m. right now, 6.30, I think. I just came back from going to a cafe with two of my friends. Don't want to say what we were doing there, but we were discussing future plans regarding traveling. That's all I'm going to say, but like... I'm excited because it is now time for dinner and I am starting to get hungry. Obviously when celebrities do these types of like interviews where they say what they eat and what their workout is, it's not gonna be the exact thing because like every single day is different and obviously they're not gonna eat the same thing every single day. But she did say that she often goes out to eat and her favorite foods were sushi, spaghetti, and margarita pizza. Now, I've done a video like this where I've made a margarita pizza and I've also made like different types of pasta. So I decided to get sushi because I haven't had that in a while. And the other thing that she gets is a frozen yogurt. So we do have a frozen yogurt place called Men cheese pretty sure they close like all their locations down except for like a few that are pretty far away from my house so my boyfriend is coming to pick me up we're gonna get some sushi and then we're gonna get some froyo and i'm so excited because i also haven't had froyo in a really long time because we used to have like three locations at the mall and they closed all of them so i'm excited for froyo i look a little bit bad waiting for my boyfriend please do not judge my face right now also look at this necklace just got it, it says my name on it adorable hi sorry i was wondering if i could order for a takeout can i get the yaki udon with beef yeah, and then can I also get a sweetie roll and the spicy agadashi tofu? Um, yep, yeah, that's okay. Thank you. Bye. It's gonna be 20, 25 minutes. Wait, what? It's gonna be 20 minutes. For two orders? It's kind of, yeah, I guess. I don't what? know. What? I'm so excited. I'm going to my favorite sushi place, Sushi Mori. Then again, I feel like I don't go to like so many sushi, so I don't know if that's like the best sushi, but I feel like that's the best that I've tried. That's for the tofu. Well, you're gonna share it with me. Oh, fuck. I probably could have got a half order. But this is called agadashi tofu. It's like just tofu that's like deep fried, I guess. And there's like that spicy sauce. It's really good. It's honestly probably too much food. But. I thought it was like two things. Why is it? This is mine. Oh. I didn't realize it was gonna come with that again. It's got yam fries. And then this is your yaki udon. It's gonna be large. It's good, trust me. First taste test. This is called the sweetie roll. If you ever come here, you need to get it. In my opinion, probably the best roll ever. Comes with like a spicy sauce. And honestly, anything that's spicy just tastes like so much better to me. You know how to use chopsticks, right? Not really. They're so slip, bro, I can't get noodles. They're so slippery. Got a fork? 
This is sad. No. This is not my boyfriend. Cheers. Cheers. Nope, too hot. <laughs> it's so hot. You spoiled the first bite. Can I show you <laughs> yours? How's it? We're here. Guys, I'm feeling real conflicted because I'm pretty sure Kendall gets like the most basic no flavored yogurt, but I want Oreo. They, they don't even have the most like, basic flavor. You know what, I think Jacob may or may not be overdoing it. It will be like $30 and I'm a little bit scared. Mine's looking a little bit cute. I got the little popping stuff in there too. Yay! my glasses I'm in my pajamas it's 11 22 I am now in the comfort of my own house which means bedtime I'm so tired and tomorrow I have a busy day ahead of me so honestly a little bit full and a little bit bloated but I think that's from the sushi that I just had I think I'm just gonna have a big glass of water before bed and then that'll be it for the day so let's go get some water and then I'll say goodnight <laughs> Thank you.